to new parents in training. So we bought the soda stream uh, with a bundle. So we got this off Costco. And this one came with a extra cylinder of CO2 along with two different bubbles. Let me see. So this is the bubbly drops. This one is cherry flavor. And this is the blackberry flavor. And let me unbox the actual product itself. So this one, once you open it up on the top, you have the instruction. This is the canister, the CO2 cylinder that comes with the product. Right, so here is the product itself. Oh, it's very slender. It's very skinny and it won't take up a lot of space. So here are all the products that come with this order. And let me go read it up and try it out. All right, first thing first, we need to install this canister to the back. So if you flip this machine to the back, pull back, and you will see this here. You lift this up, and now, Seal this bottle here. Okay, so the bottom portion goes down first. Yeah. Ta da! Okay, so this is installed. Now to the front. Oh, this does not require any electricity, by the way. So you can put this just about anywhere that you have, can find a flat surface. And next, you need to make sure this part is out. So just kind of tug it to make sure this is out. All right, now let's try out this machine. I have filled the water to the max line here, which is according to the bottle is 840 ml of liquid in here. Now the way that you're gonna put this in is well first of all this handle has to be out first and then you slide in push up and in now you see how this bottle is hanging so make sure that it's doing that this is actually locked in place now I have tried other ways to put in if see this is not locking in the correct way has to be Go up more, and the bottle is hanging and it's secure. So this is what happened earlier when we tried this thing out and it wasn't fitting correctly and all the water just gushing out. Ooh. Now to make the water fizz, what you need to do is hold the button on the top firmly down. If you hear the bubble sound making in the bottle, and it's working. If we do it three times, that's the standard fist. Five times, that's the strong fist. So uh, let's try it out. Hold it down for one second. One, yeah, there we go. Two, three, four, Five. Okay. All right. See all the bubbles bubbling up. Now this water is carbonated. All right. Now time to add flavor. So the bubbly drops here. Uh, it require one liter of uh, carbonated water for three quarter of teaspoon of flavors here. Now, this is kind of confusing, right? Because here is only 840 ml. So I'm just going to treat it as one liter. Uh, so I have here a measurement, one fourth of teaspoon here. So I'm just going to pour three teaspoon. One, two. So I poured three, one fourth of teaspoon in here. Close the tap. 
Shimmy a little bit. All right, so now it's ready. Oh, look at the bubble. Oh, it's very bubbly. Tastes actually pretty good. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good machine. Guys, yeah, so my final thought about this solar machine, I really like it. And it's a perfect machine to have if you drink a lot of soda or bubbly water to begin with. Not only are you able to get to create your own soda at home, but it's also cost effective since you can exchange the canister to get a refill. Now, according to the website, if you send in four canisters at a time, it's free shipping. Or you can also look for a local store that lets you do the exchange as well. The downside is just need to make sure that you put this water bottle in correctly. If not, all the water will shoot out once you press the button on the top. Anyway, so this is my review of the Soda Stream Terra. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.